4313 and welcome back to Pokemon Platinum Randomizer. In the last episode, I believe, well I say I believe we did, we arrived here at, once I leave the Pokemon Center, Sunny Shore City, and I said I was going to mess around with the Pokeball seals and I never did. I mean, I bought a few of the seals, I just never made any of the ball capsules. Now, I also said that I'd level up Sierra, like in between now and the last. I did just that alongside most of my. Actually, I'll just put Sierra first, just so we can see her stats and things last. I don't think Janelle's changed at all. Um, I don't think Carmel has. I think Celeste might have gone up a few levels. Rose, I think. I think basically everyone's just gone up a few levels, minus Sierra. Now, the thing I was wondering is, since all of the abilities do get did get randomised, I was wondering, I was wondering would that happen to Sierra as well, and the thing is, it did as well. She may have lost speed boost, but she did in fact gain mold breaker, which is, I think that's, moves will hit regardless of the ability that the opponent has. So say that I taught Sierra Earthquake, she would be able to hit Pokemon that have Levitate as well. So I'm thinking that... I think the TM for Earthquake is in Victory Road. Oh yeah, I also just had that app open on the Poketch, just I didn't want to spoil anything. Even though I'm not sure what I'd be spoiling. Right. Now I can't remember... Oh, that is a lot of people in here. I can't remember whether you can get any items in here, but... Eh. Under, no, okay, then that's fine. Da -da 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 okay, that's fine, you can... Head off to... Oh, uh, it's not the gym just yet. Oh, and I also looked... Yeah, like I said, I looked at the levels of the... Of the Sunny Shore Gym here, and the highest level is level 50. Hence why I got my Pokémon all to level 49, and... Well, I would say I got them to level 51, but Janelle was already there. Although I don't think she's going to be all that useful, considering... Spoilers, it's going to be the Electric-type gym. Although saying that, pretty much only Rose, Pietro and Carmel are going to be that useful, considering the other three are all weak to Electric-types. <laughs> Oh, I did not think my teeth through. <laughs> ah, well. I really feel like it's only Volkner's last Pokemon that I should have any real trouble with, considering it is so, like, big and beefy compared to everything else he has. Right. I've decided. If I find you to be weak, I'm going to challenge the Pokemon League. I'm all done with renovating the gym, so I don't need to be here. More than anything, I want to have battles that can thrill me again. And as the toughest leader in Sinnoh, I'm going to unleash everything in my arsenal on you. I do apologise for the yawn there. I've just got into the habit of recording quite a lot of my videos early in the morning, so... Well, I say early in the morning, I mean not that long after I've woken up, so... Yeah, my videos are going to be plagued with my yawn. <laughs> Oops. Right, now where was the gym hit? Nope. I don't remember what any of these built. Okay, right. Julia, it's her delightful ribbons there. You can talk to her, I think it's once a day, and she'll give you a different ribbon. But that's only for each day of the week, so you can get. You can get seven ribbons on like one Pokemon. And um, there is actually a place, I believe it's called the Ribbon Syndicate, like, that is, that you can go to, like, post-game, like, after the Elite Four. And I'm sure we could go up there if I had, if I had brought Vigoroth with me, but I didn't. Yeah, and to get into the Ribbon Syndicate, I am just flubbing all of my words and just getting so distracted. You need ten ribbons on one Pokemon, so I think Julius has is integral to be getting in there. Right. Yo, hi, he's finally feeling back. upbeat too. I I have a hunch that he recognized your toughness as a trainer right away. I bet he's getting excited over the thought of battling you. Remember what you have to do, Hotshot. Give him a battle that's so hot it will reignite his passion for battling. I wonder what type of Pokemon this Hotshot and Reignite were using Flynn fire types. 
Yeah, spoil. Well, I should have a really easy time against... F mm, I was going to say considering Sierra, but since she's part ice, that could be a little problematic. Right. And yes, this is the final gym of the Sinner region. Ooh, it looks like I'm stood on that fence. Yeah, the Sunny Shore gym, the main... Well, since they are electric types, although I don't know why I said since they are electric types, yeah, the main puzzle of this gym is you have to stand on those... What is it? Why has my brain forgotten the word? You have to stand on those gears, that's the word, and then move the... Move the paths around so you can make a way. Why are words so difficult today? Right, let's see how much Ice Fang does, because I know Pachirisu tend to be specially defensively orientated. Right now, just out of safety, I'm going to switch into Pietro, because obviously I can't be dealing with Sierra's confusion and... Oh. I mean, that's... It's an annoying move, but it 100% wasn't what I was anticipating this Pachirisu would do. I would have thought I'd have gone... Actually, no, I suppose going for the... Oh, okay, Tierra, that's just... That's definitely... That's something. Yeah, I suppose her using Super Fang makes sense on a wall ring, considering it's got such high HP. I was about to question why did that do so much damage, but then obviously crit. This is gonna hurt, isn't it? Why did <laughs> you know it's? A, I'm not gonna complain. <laughs> oh dear, right. I mean, at least I've got all of those hyper potions with me. <laughs> now I'm hoping. Well, I wasn't gonna say. I hope this pa that Pachirisu isn't gonna be a what do you might call it? Um, now the word premonition, is that the word a premonition? A premonition for how the rest of this gym's gonna go, but Lordy Lord, looking at the stats of some of my Pokemon, it may well be. Right, I honestly think that Rose is gonna be the MVP in this gym. Oh no, right, actually I'm just gonna battle this guy first just to get him out of the way. Now I'm also thinking that this episode may just be getting through the gym and like just battling the gym trainers. Because I think, oh right, there are Magnemites in here as well. So I think like this gym puzzle is going to take a while to do, like to beat, so, so maybe, maybe next episode is going to be the gym leader. Wow, okay. I was not expecting that kind of power from Rose, but I am all for it. Right, look, see how I'm gonna just stick in, why not? But it's probably gonna use Swagger immediately. Okay, I was gonna say it's probably gonna use Swagger immediately because that's what these things have always done to me. Although I don't know why he would use Scary Face considering some Flora are already so slow. I mean, I'm not going to complain, but it just doesn't make much sense, right? Rose, she's already had her... She's already been screeched, so her defense has been lowered, and I'm not... I'm not going to take any chances on her getting hit. I mean, I probably could use, um, what do you mean, Jigger? Celeste? Because I imagine that... Surf could do like a decent amount of damage, like against some of the slower electric types in this gym. And I mean, I doubt that she'd get KO'd in one turn. I mean, it is. This is only something for me to consider. These are just thoughts in my own head. Um, then that's all we can do for now. So we, we're gonna have to run up and over here, battle this kid. Yeah, that's fine. Honestly, I'm... Wait, hold on. I'm sure there's one trainer in here that just uses, like, a Bidoof or a B-Barrel. I'm sure there is, and I just can't remember for the life of me who it is. Right. 
I really should put Carmel up first. Because of all these Magneton. Now, X, X speed. I okay. I, I understand why he's doing that. Because Magneton are traditionally pretty slow, or typically not traditionally. I don't know. Right now, I'm just thinking. When we get to Volkner, I don't know whether I should lead off with Carmel or not. Because I'm thinking that Volkner he might have a Magneton. But I'm not entirely sure. Because I've got another Pokemon in my mind that he may lead off with. Alright, so apologies for the cut there, but I can't guarantee that there won't be any more in this video, and I guarantee there'll be at least one more. But it's been... <clears throat> it's been literally a few days since the last cut, and the team has changed a little bit. And by changed, I mean they've only leveled up a bit. I want to say, well, I think all of our levels were like 49 and 1, like 1 at level 50, 51. But this is basically how we're looking at, and I think the only thing that's actually changed is the fact that Sierra Nano's Earthquake. Yeah, I went to find the Earthquake TM in Wayward Cave, but it's in the... It's in the hidden entrance that's like actually under the cycling road, not the open and revealed entrance. And why does this child have four Pokemon? I feel like that just all can be Pikachu. <laughs> if that is the case with this girl, I'm just gonna leave immediately. Wow, okay. I am happy with that. Yeah, and I also decided that it would be that it'd be better just to train my Pokemon to high levels because even though like I said that the strongest Pokemon in this gym is only level 50, it's well I was gonna say yeah it is it is a third like evolution Pokemon. Didn't I tell you that there'd be another cut in this episode? Oh dear. Now I can't remember where exactly that I needed to cut it but what I was saying is the Strongest Pokemon in this gym, it's a third evolution. And since none of my Pokemon that aren't weak to electricity are all that great stat wise, hmm, I figured it might be a little bit better to, you know, go up in levels a bit just to be safe. And I did predict that this child would have four Pikachus, why? She literally had four level 42 slash 43 Pikachus. I can only question her intent as to why she would even bother with that. Oh dear. Right. Now, honestly, even though I taught Sierra Earthquake, I have used it when off-screen training a few times, and it is deplorably weak on her, so... Something's telling me that things may not go all that well <laughs> when we finally get to the gym leader. I feel like what's actually going to happen is that we're going to get into a situation where Sierra is actually valuable, but because she's that slow, she's just going to get one hit KO'd by an electric move. Uh, dang. And actually, Pietro seems to be doing really well against, or like, really well first turn against some of these Pokemon, so... I think I remember what Pokemon that Vulcan leads off with, so... I think I might lead off with Pietro, just because that Pokemon he leads off with, it isn't the most defensive Pokemon. So I think... I think that's definitely how I'm going to start off. Right. Honestly, other than what I'm leading off with, I have literally no plans for this like for this gym because yeah as it turns out the steel Pokemon that I thought Volkner would have yet yeah, doesn't exist. Isn't that fun? Oh dear. I'm just I'm not just looking for tough trainers to battle. She's been battling she wants to feel the rush. I mean I don't know what that means but I guess it's her destiny to feel the rush. 
Uh, did you ever say things and then immediately think, why did you say that? Yeah, that, that pun was low even for my standards, and that was one of those moments. Ah, oh dear, this is going to decimate, isn't it? Oh. What? Okay, I don't know whether it's been on or off screen, but recently there have just been a load of critical hits happening in this game. And I don't mean for just the opponents, I mean for my Pokemon as well. I mean, I don't know whether it has been shown on screen, but it might have just been when I'm training. Because loads of people seem to be getting critical hits. I mean, I'm not complaining at it since I was getting critical hits just as much as the opponent was, but it's just something I've noticed that's happening a lot. Right. And since Pietro defeated the last Raichu pretty easily, I feel like he can beat this one just as easily. Well, I say just as easy, it is a level higher. Ooh, light screen, that was... <laughs> Actually, I'm really happy that he used light screen because considering Pietro's physical attack is better than his special, it, it just makes sense to use strength. Although, especially when strength is his strongest move as well, which is kind of sad when your strongest move is a HM. Oh, I am sorry, Pietro. I also kind of just don't want to use Carmel in battle just because she's kind of really bad at causing damage. Yikes. Right, but anyway. Ooh, okay. You know what? It's dumb and she'll get K and she'll get KO'd in one turn, but I wanna try using Janelle in one battle at least. Yeah, she'll probably get KO'd immediately, <laughs> just by a rogue thunderbolt, and when I say rogue thunderbolt, I mean... Oh. Well, maybe not, considering it's only a Luxia. Hmm. Who knows, maybe I'll get lucky and get the KO with this. <laughs> uh, the oh, nice one, Janelle. You get brought in for one battle and you pull it off well. Right, what's next? Uh, oh, another Luxio. I might as well stay in with Janelle. Okay, good. I was going to say, let's just hope that this next Luxio isn't magically like three levels higher. Then we might be a bit screwed. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay, but that went surprise. Maybe it's just because the only Luxios and is mid evolution, mid stage evolution. That could quite easily be the highest stage of evolution. Um, I guess this is where we're gonna have to go. Um, right, I feel like we need to move this one around, so. Yeah, I feel like this one needs to be connected to that one, to the one at the top. But I also feel like I should have gone down at this point instead. Alright, so I'm just gonna twiddle it around all the way. Yeah, so there's no way that these could possibly be connected other than like this, so... What I think I'd do is I might have to go around, like do another rotation around. Right. <laughs> and I think I may have made a poor choice in leaving Janelle at first. Oops. Ew. Yeah, I definitely may have made a poor choice. <laughs> uh... Now I'm gonna switch out. My dumb was telling me to give the Shadow Ball a try, but I don't believe that she, I'd have been able to pull it off. Yeah, that's what I thought. And that's fine. So hopefully this shouldn't do too much damage just because of type resistance. See, I'm not crazy. It is happening. Critical hits are happening more, aren't they? I am not just being crazy. <laughs> Oh, that's gonna hurt. Okay, me. I was about to say that did less damage, but obviously it's gonna win critical hit. <laughs> oh, well, I might as well try and get some of my own health back and then not have to use a hyper potion. See, if I can keep the damage to a minimum, I can heal Rose with just a Moo Moo Milk instead. <laughs> oh, dear. Right, now I'm thinking it's probably smart to switch out into Pietro instead. 
I feel like it's gonna be another Raichu. Oh, a Magneton this time. Hey, Carmel, you can finally come in useful. That sounds so cruel. To be honest, I only ended up catching Carmel because I thought I'd need a decent fire type for I don't remember what. Oops. But, yeah, I think I kind of jumped the gun on the decent part there. I mean, I definitely caught a fire type, but... Carmel slash Ninetales, they're definitely more, I believe, designed to be a special role. Hmm. You know what could be a thing I could do? Maybe go and find the light screen TM and teach that to someone. Which isn't a, a good idea because I just realised that most of his strongest Pokemon use physical type moves. But you know what, it's too late for that now so I think I'm gonna leave this episode here so make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with the rest of my videos and I will see you guys next time where I will try and take on the final gym leader. See you then.